Hey, what's good, fellas? Welcome to this presentation. This is Trey. And today, I'm going to give you my 10K in 90 days blueprint. All right, so this is for anyone who's interested in making money on the internet. Okay, I'm going to show you a step by step formula because I did do a presentation where I talked about how you can make your first 10K on the internet, right? And I also explained that I've made, you know, 50k in 30 days and I've had $3,500 days and I've, I've hit some interesting uh, goals in regards to uh, income goals on the internet however um, I didn't break it down necessarily into a step-by-step -step that somebody could follow practically right now right so I'm basically gonna break that down for you in this presentation so I'm, I wrote the steps down because I usually just like the flow but I decided to write the steps down so you can have like a practical, if you wanted to make 10K in the next 90 days on the internet, this is something, this is one way you could do it, right? There's many ways to make money on the internet, but this is one way you could do it right now, all right? So the first step, you wanna ask yourself, okay, 10K, $10,000, right? This is how I would go about this. You want to ask yourself, what is a result that you could help people get that is worth $10,000? You want to ask yourself that question. Now, I'm going to be real with you. If you cannot answer that question, then you might as well stop this video and, and figure out how you can answer that question. Because the way I would go about this, if I wanted to make 10 k in the next 90 days and I had a gun to my head this is what I would do okay I would figure out what is a result that I could get someone that is worth ten thousand dollars that's the first thing I would ask myself and I would actually write down five okay because there's different niches right there's different results you could get someone like for example you know if you could help somebody like what I'm saying right now if I could help somebody make 10k um within the next 90 days and this was a system that they could repeat that means they could make much more than 10k right and so this is something that i could sell for 10k right and so that so that would be one of the things i would write down what else um you you basically have to look at what talents or skills you have or what niches you're interested in because you may not be able to get someone a 10k result right now but you can go and learn you know develop the skills or get the information and knowledge necessary to help someone achieve a result that's worth 10k for example if you could help someone overcome their insecurities in an area that is very important to someone for example if you could help someone overcome their fear of approaching women right so they can approach the women they want and actually start getting in communication and start getting some phone numbers and some dates. To some people, that is worth $10,000. Now, I'm not saying we're going to charge them $10,000. I'm just saying you want something that's very valuable. We're not going to charge $10,000 for it. But if it's worth $10,000 and we charge less than that, then the person would, would see the value. They'd be like, man, I would actually pay $10,000 for this, but they're only, this person's only charging right so the first step is to write down five different um, results that you could help someone get that you believe is worth ten thousand dollars if they were able to get this result right so imagine someone who is struggling they're having nightmares with a specific problem they're having and if you could show up with the result they wanted how much would that be worth to them Right. So that's the first step. So you'd write down five. What are five results? You can do research. Go and see what's being sold. Sometimes you may not be able to figure it out on your own. You can go and see what's being sold. You know, I used to go to this website called clickbank.com and it has a marketplace and it shows you the niches where products and services are being sold. And you can see what are these solutions that people are willing to pay for. You can also go to Amazon Books. Right? Amazon will show you the different niches and you go in the nonfiction section, you can see the different challenges that people are having. Right? 
you know what are some fears that people need help overcoming or what are some uh, goals they want to achieve or what are some results they like to achieve and then you can find out okay these are some results people want to achieve can I help someone achieve this result if not you can go and learn right there's courses there's programs where you can learn these things right one of the things that I learned was I, I realized people want to start their own online business so what did I do I learned how to start an online business and I not only that I learned how to build websites and sales funnels for people because people want to have their own website they want to have their own sales funnel but they don't know how to do it so I was like I'll do it for you now how much is that worth to someone if they're gonna if their goal is to build a six-figure business let's say now they have a website and a sales funnel how much is that worth to that person right they'll pay ten thousand People are paying ten thousand because if it's if you get it into in front of the right person who really needs it. But anyway, so five. You want to write down five offers, right? Five results that would be worth ten thousand dollars to someone who is struggling to get that result. The second thing you want to do is you want to come up with offers around. So you want to choose one of the five. Right, you came up with five, but you want to choose one. Which one of these can you truly help someone achieve? Which one of these results that you wrote down, you write down five. Which one of these results can you truly help someone get? Okay, help someone achieve, like without a doubt. Because we're not here to bullshit people. We want to actually get people results, okay? So that they don't have buyer's remorse or want a refund or anything like that. So you have to decide out of the five, which one of these can I truly help someone achieve? Once you choose one, you want to create an offer around these, right? The way I would do it is I would have a one-on-one -on -one coaching offer where I actually personally help them achieve the result. And then the second one would either be I would create a digital product, whether it's an ebook or a video course that will show them how to get the result. Or I would create like some kind of like a group coaching program where it's like, okay, they, they still get access to me, but it's not as much as it would be one-on-one. -on -one. And, and the group program is designed to help them get the result right so that's the two things you want to do now as far as pricing we got to look at it okay if you're going to make 10k in the next 90 days you would have to set up your offers in a way that you so you can hit that goal right so for example if you had one pro one uh, your one-on-one -on -one coaching program was a thousand dollars then you know okay if I want to make 10k in the next 90 days I would need to sell 10 people on this one-on-one -on -one coaching program Okay, or if you charge, if you made your one-on-one -on -one coaching pro program twenty-five hundred, then what is that? That's four people you need to sell. Now you may say, "Oh, it's kind of expensive," but remember, I said in the beginning, we want to solve a problem that somebody would pay ten thousand dollars for. So we're actually undercharging. Okay, this is a problem somebody would pay ten thousand dollars for, right? So if we charge them a thousand dollars, they're actually getting a deal. Or if we charge them twenty five hundred, they're actually getting a deal. Or even five thousand, they're actually getting a deal. So you want to solve a big problem, okay? Not a little problem. You can do it that way too. But I'm am telling you how I would go about this. If I had a gun to my head and I had to make ten ten thousand in the next ninety days, that's how I would go about it, okay? Now, next thing you want to do is you want to go and find people who need this result, who need this solution that you can provide. And you wanna help them get this result or this solution for free. The first five people, you wanna do it for free in exchange for a testimonial or a case study. You know, basically basically uh, um, validating your service or your product. Because you don't wanna go around tr uh, telling people, hey, I got this, I can get you this solution. They're like, oh really, that sounds great. Yeah, it's a thousand dollars. They're gonna look at you like, okay, it's a thousand dollars. Maybe it's worth it, but why should I believe you? Okay, now you gotta convince them and no sales tactics and all this shit. Instead of that, just have your testimonials ready to go. That's why you wanna help five people. So within the first, cause we, we talking about 90 day period. So the first 30 days, you wanna focus on finding five people who you can help get that result and document the, the fact that you got them that result. So once you get them the result, tell them to give you a video testimonial or you know, or a written testimonial, ideally a video, but written testimonial works of the experience working with you and how that you were able to help them achieve the result. 
And so now, you know, once you have these five, because you want to have five, you don't just want to have one. Five is, is, you know, so you have multiple, right? But now when, you know, once you have these five, not only will it bring up your confidence because you clearly just help five people, but now when you go out and you charge for your service, you'll have proof that it works. That is, you know what I mean? That you can actually get the result. You don't have to go around convincing people. And if someone doesn't accept the proof or the truth, uh, the proof that you showed them, then you know that person just, you know, either they're, they're not serious about getting the result or they're just not committed or maybe it's just not in alignment with you in a sense of maybe the energy is not right or whatever. And that's not the person you're supposed to work with. Right. And so this gives you some leverage. Right. You don't just go into these going up to people just trying to they're going to look at you like, oh, who's this guy trying to scam me? Right. Instead of that, you show up with proof that you can get people results and confidence. Right. Because you've already done it or right? you've already gotten people results. So it's not like you're just hoping you can get someone a result. You've proven it to yourself. Guess what? It's going to come across in your communication. It's going to come across. Uh, when you're telling, when you're speaking to this person, and they they can feel it and hear it in your voice, and so it's more, it will make people more likely to invest with you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, now that you got the five people who have given you a testimonial, the next thing I would do is I would start contacting at least thirty people a day who need your solution. Right. So basically, you want to get in front of your targeted audience. You can do this through social media, you could do it through Facebook, you could do it through YouTube. So putting out YouTube videos, um, do it through Instagram. You could do it through forum marketing. Um, you could do it offline. If you have the balls to go out and just talk to people, you can do it that way as well. Um, you also have SEO. I'm not a big fan of SEO, but you can do SEO. SEO search engine optimization. So essentially, you set up a blog. You can do it with YouTube too, but you'd set up a blog and you start writing articles where you're solving like little parts of the problem. And you're basically, your goal is to get these articles ranked for keywords that are related to the problem. So for example, if you're helping people lose weight, you would write maybe articles that say how to lose 15 pounds in the next whatever or how to um, get control of your weight or whatever. You know, you can go on, um, they have this website called Uber, Uber Suggests. You can go to Uber Suggests to, to find keywords, um, you know, long tail keywords, right? So a lot of times, like, if you try to rank for weight loss, that's too big of a, that's too broad of a keyword and there's already so much competition. Whereas if you go and find one a little, like a longer tail keyword, like, how to lose weight even if you are if even if you don't want to diet or you know something just longer that's easier to rank for won't have as much competition okay so that that's something you could look into search engine optimization but me personally youtube i like social media so i'll use youtube facebook i'll probably just take two and just master those two i actually like to master one but you know it, at different times i would go after two depending on the situation Right. So you're you can repurpose content. Right. So if like, let's say you, you're on Facebook and you're you set up your profile and you're like, OK, this is the solution I'm going to provide to people. And you set up your profile based on that. You start putting content out around that that problem and the solution that you're providing. Right. Little maybe like little short tips that will help people. OK. And then you put this content out and then maybe you make a video. So you make an article version, but then you also make a video version. A video version you post on YouTube, okay? So the whole point here is you wanna start letting people know, look, I have a solution, and you start giving them like um, like free samples in a sense, right? So you like put content out. That's your free sample, okay? You can also directly reach out to people, right? You could directly reach out to people, you know, find people, find out where your target audience hangs out. OK, you know, whether it's a certain forums, whether they have certain hobbies that they do, whatever you want to get in front of your target audience. And my the number I go for is 30. So you want to get in front of at least 30 people a day, whether it's direct conversation or it's putting your content out where 30 people will view it a day. But that's the minimum. 
right? So obviously, if you get it in front of 100 or 1,000 people a day, that's great. But 30 people minimum, okay? Now, how I would do it, you know, 2021 uh, version, I would set up a Facebook group, right? As you, as you see, I've done here. You want to set up a Facebook group because a Facebook group allows you to put your content in here, valuable content for people who are interested in that content and give them a lot of value. And it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a library. It's like you're creating a library of content so people can go in and access the content for free. Okay. But what happens is you're going to have some people who just want content, who just want information. They're going to go and apply it on their own. That's great. But you're also going to have some people who would like guidance, who would like guidance, who would like accountability, who would like customized advice. Those are the people who will invest in your service or your product once they know for sure that you can help them. And right. And that's why I said you want to put the content in your group. You want to have testimonials. So you're positioned as an authority. You clearly know what you're talking about. You clearly have a solution to help people solve their problems. And so, you know, you're going to, if you're consistently getting people in your group or consistently getting in communication with people and demonstrating your authority on the subject, there will be some people who will, um, you know, clearly uh, see your value and, and be aware of it. And, and basically they're in this position where they're tired, they're, you know, they're sick and tired of their condition, right? They have a problem, they want to overcome it. They have a challenge, they want to overcome it. And they see that you have the solution. And so if you tell them, Hey, my program is a thousand dollars. They'll look at this and say, "Well, shit, this it, it's a thousand dollars, but this problem, this is a big problem in my life. Like this shit is is, is you know making my life a, a living hell. So if I can, if I only got to pay a thousand dollars, but this problem will be gone, right? And I'll get the result I want. Is that worth it? Of course, right? Because that's your life. Your life will change, right? To me, if you can help someone transform their life, that's priceless." Especially if their life is in a condition they don't want it to be, right? And it's been like that for years and a long ass time and they tried this and tried that and nothing ever worked. Then you show up and you could solve the problem for them, all right? So you want to get in front of uh, contact. You want to contact at least 30 people a day. You want to be posting content. Um, I say, you know, at least three times a day. It just depends on your schedule, but... Once in the morning, once in the afternoon, once at night. Okay, you want to be posting content. You be, you want to stay relevant. You want to stay um, in front of your audience, right? Because there's so much noise out there, so much competition. You can't just post one thing a day and think that you know that's gonna make some noise. You gotta be consistent, right? You gotta consistently show up um, until you get to a point where you're making enough money where you can delegate things. Okay, you can hire a team and stuff like that, but in the, in the beginning, it's up to you to show up. Okay. Now, when you're posting your content, you're communicating to people, you want to have a call to action. Okay. Now, the way how I do it is my thing is I want to create personal connections with people. Okay. I'm not trying to help help every single person in the world. I'm trying to help the people who really who really need the help, who really um, match my energy, match my vibe. They like my, st my style of teaching. They like my style of coaching, my style of, of helping. And there's an alignment there, right? Those are the people I want to deal with. And so what I do is I create like a personal, I do a personal approach to business in the sense that I look to connect with people. I really get to understand their situation. I don't push anything on them. I just understand their situation and I let them decide when they are ready to commit to changing their lives, right? When they're com re uh, committed to solving the problem that they have and, and achieving the result they want to achieve. And so you do this by literally communicating to people as if they're your friend, right? Not because what guys, people do is they communicate to people with the intention, oh, I need to sell this person. How can I what is the right thing to say? What? No, talk to this person as if it's your friend. If your value is truly there, if you truly have a solution to their problem, you don't have to worry about selling them and all this shit. It will be obvious, right? What When you're communicating to them, it will be obvious that you have the solution. If you've been doing the things I said, if you've been posting the content, 
if you've been showing your testimonials, if you've been consistent, you know what I mean? It would just be clear, this man knows his shit. And so, as I said, not everyone's gonna jump, jump into your program or pay for your service. There's gonna be some people who can clearly see your value and know that you can help them and they're ready to invest, right? They're ready to invest because they're not just investing. They're not, it's not like they're just giving you money. They're investing in the solution. They're investing in a result. And so once they know that you can help them, they'll be comfortable um, investing, okay? And so, as I said, you wanna have a call to action. So when you put your content out, you, you put out valuable content, and then at the end, you have some form of call to action. So whether it's um, your product, you can literally just say, hey, look, I have this product or this service, and I recommend you check it out. If you're having this problem, and you like to achieve this solution, here is my product or my service, okay? And, you know, you just need to clearly, I, you need to clearly communicate what the problem is and what the solution is that you, you provide, okay? Or, one thing I like to do is I like to give people a free session, okay? A free session where we kind of dive into what their, ch their challenges are, what they're facing, right? And I may give them some tips that they can take um, to help with the situation. And then I also let them know, look, if you truly wanna get the result, if you truly wanna transform, if you truly wanna change your life, I have programs that are literally designed for that. Step-by-step -step programs that will get you from point A to point B, okay? And you just, you just do this consistently. There's gonna be some people that are going to vibe with you and want the solution, okay? And that's just, that's just the game, you know? And so, as I said, you want to have your offer set up. You want to know, okay, my one-on-one -on -one coaching program is going to be a thousand dollars, right? And I'm going to see. Uh, my goal is to make uh, ten sales within the next ninety days. Okay, so you make sure you're getting in front of thirty people a day, talking to thirty people a day, putting out content so it gets in front of at least thirty viewers a day. And obviously, that's a minimum I'm giving you, but you should aim to to get your content exposed to as much people as possible. Right? You don't want to be focusing on one person. Man, I got to close this person. I got to sell to the... No. You should have an abundance mentality. It's the same thing with women. You don't want to be focused on one woman. That's what they call that. One-itis. You want to be talking to multiple women. And then there's going to be some women that are right for you and some that are not. The ones that are right for you. Those are your women. And then if you want to have one woman, you have one woman. If you want to have multiple women, you have multiple women. But first, you need to have an abundance of women to talk to. It's the same thing with business. You want to get your... You want to get your um, offer and your content in front of lots of people. You know, if you're just focusing on one and two here and there, three and four, it's, it's gonna move. It's gonna take you forever to really start getting some traction. You gotta focus on abundance. How can I get in front of a lot of people? Because there's, you gotta remember, there's millions of people on this planet. It's mil what is it? Millions or billions? There's so many people on this planet. So all you need is, you know, you know, if you can. The way I see, that's why I said 30 people a day. If you could get in front of 30, contact 30 people a day, you know, get in front of 30 people a day. And this is consistently, right? So we're not missing days here, right? That's that's one of the things um, I talk about in this group is discipline. Being able to do what you say you're going to do consistently over and over so you can build up that momentum, right? Because momentum is once that momentum kicks in, that's when things start moving. You know, it's like a train, you know, when the train starts, it's slow, right? But then it starts picking up speed, picking up speed, and then it gets to a point where nobody can stop it. And that's that's kind of how business works. It's like in the beginning, it takes some time because you got to figure things out. You got to get things going, start, you know, get the testimonials going, get your, you know, start refining your content, you know, um, figuring out your target audience, those things. But once you get that clarity and you start moving, it starts picking up speed, and then all of a sudden, the train's going fast, and you... Anyone that gets in the way is going to get run over because it's, it's too much momentum, right? So I just wanted to break down steps like, look, um, building a business, you know, you know, I when I just started my journey of trying to make money online, there was always these headlines that they would say how easy it is to make money online and make a hundred dollars in two seconds and all this shit. Look. You building a real business here. You got to actually be committed to the the business. You got to be committed to your goals. And it's going to take 
effort, right? That's why not everyone is doing it because it's not easy. It's not easy. But if you know what to do, if you have proper guidance, if you have the proper knowledge, if you know what you're doing, you can make shit happen very quickly. It's just when you don't know what you're doing or you don't have an experience, it takes pretty long. But even then, if you're committed and you never stop, you'll hit your goal. That's what happened with me. Anytime I set a goal, I just don't stop. So yeah, sometimes it takes me a long ass time because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I always hit the goal because I just refuse to stop. But now it's like, okay, now that I've matured, I've gotten this knowledge and stuff. A lot of times if I want a certain result, I'll just go and find somebody who knows how to achieve it. You know, I'm not going to waste too much time trying to figure shit on my own unless I really enjoy that. Right. Like depending on what it is, I may want to do that. Like, for example, the piano, I could get a piano teacher and take piano lessons. But I don't need to do that because I actually enjoy learning the piano by myself. That's cool. I, I don't care how long it takes. I'm not in like a rush to get how good I'm going to get. I just love playing it. Right. So if that's your mentality with, with business, then OK, then you could take your time. And it, it might take a long time to, to hit the goal. But if you enjoy it, who cares? But if you want the result, you want to make it happen, then it just makes sense to go and find someone who knows what the hell to do and just follow the steps. Okay, and things are gonna move, and you'll you'll have that guidance. You'll have more confidence, right? Because, you know, you have a proven formula, like something that has been tested, you know, and used before. All right, so that's the steps. I'll just recap real quick. Um, the first step is to create five, come up with five results that you can help someone achieve. That's worth ten thousand dollars, right? And if you if you can't come up with five, then go and do research and find out what are some uh, problems that. Uh, are being solved that people are paying lots of money for okay and one of the things I did was I used to go to this website Clickbank it's still there um, they have like a marketplace and they have like different categories you can also look at Amazon books and you can see okay these different categories I go in a nonfiction section and I look at these different categories and I see what the best sellers are I look at the headline I look at the problem I go and check if there's programs being sold coaching done for you services whatever I go and do my research. That's market research, right? And then I've you and as I said, you want to get five, five solutions that you can provide that are worth 10k. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna sell a um a offer, right? That's you're gonna have two versions. You're gonna have a high ticket and a mid ticket. The high ticket is gonna be a thousand or higher which typically would be one-on-one -on -one coaching, a mid-ticket is going to be, mid-ticket to low-ticket is going to be anywhere from $47 to $500, somewhere around there, okay? And the mid-ticket is either going to be group coaching or some type of ebook or video course, okay? Or it could be a membership. Then you want to find five people. You want to choose one. You want to choose one out of the five that you came up, the five results. You want to choose one and you want to go out and find five people who you can help for free to achieve that result. Okay, that result that's worth $10,000. You're going to go and help five people do it for free in exchange for a testimonial. So now you're going to have five testimonials that you can use to sell your service without having to convince them and say, hey, this is why my product is so good. No, you just say, hey, look at my testimonial. Boom. Then after that, now that you have the testimonials, now you want to start getting in front of people who need your service. But now your mindset is, okay, I already helped five people for free. Now I'm going to charge for my services. All right. So you can leverage Facebook, YouTube, there's different platforms, Instagram, whatever, wherever your target audience is hanging out. And this is going to require research, right? You got to research and find out where your target audience hands, hangs out. And that's what, you know, anyone who understands business knows that that's an important part. It's like understanding your audience. So you get in front of the right people. You get in front of somebody who needs your product. <laughs> There's a huge difference when, in, you know, when you have like, a, you can have an amazing offer, but if you get it in front of the wrong people, they're not going to care. Okay. Whereas, you know, if you get, have an amazing offer and you get in front of somebody who's desperately needs the solution, they're going to be so grateful, so thankful that you showed up. So you want to get in front of at least 30 people a day, um, 10 in the morning, 10 in the, uh, uh, 10 in the afternoon, 10 at night. Okay. And this is, this is direct outreach. Okay. That's what I recommend, but I also re recommend combining that with 
creating content. So you want to put content out. Okay, and the content, I put it out three times a day as well. So whether it's an article or video, you want to put one out in the morning, one out in the afternoon, one out in the, the night. Now, you have to calibrate this, <laughs> tailor this to your schedule, right? So not everyone's schedule will allow this. So if you can only do one a day, then do one a day, right? But you need to be consistent, right? You need to be consistently putting this out. Another thing I would do is I would open a group. I would open a Facebook group and I would make the Facebook group group all about solving a specific that specific problem that's worth 10k that you're making your offers around I'd make the Facebook group all about that all the content would be about that strictly about that and anyone who gets in the group is people who are interested in that topic and then you want to have a call to action um, when you put out your content you want to have a call to action either to your product or service or to a free call like a free session where you're gonna help them help the person give them tips and advice on how they can solve the problem and then also let them know about your programs and then you just rinse and repeat this okay you can also put out offer posts right so sometimes you could just straight up put out your offer and say look like instead of putting the content and having a call to action you you would just put the offer out and say look today I want to let you guys know about my program da, da 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 I'm doing a special today it's usually um, let's say it's usually five thousand dollars for it it's gonna be twenty five hundred today or if we're talking about the mid tick or low ticket pro, uh, product you know hey it's usually ninety seven dollars but today's gonna be forty seven dollars right so you can do like specials right and then you could give you you don't have to give a reason you could but if you want to you could say oh today um holiday you could do like holiday deals or you could say it was my birthday or, you know, I'm just feeling amazing today and I just want to help out some people. It doesn't matter. You can, it's your business. You can do whatever you want. And then you just keep rinse, rinse and repeat. And one thing you can do, and this is what I did too, like once you start making money in one niche, you can go in another niche. Because sometimes, you know, I, you know, I would get bored of one niche, right? So if I'm in a niche and, and it's, you know, I'm making some money and it's cool or whatever, I'll say, okay, well... I got this going, now I could get another one going. Because I do believe in multiple streams of income, right? Um, now my mentality on it is you want to really bring up one, like you really want to master one business model or one niche and then move into another one. But, you know, there's people with different mentalities, right? Like they say, um, you know, you got the Steve Jobs, the uh, you got the Bill Gates, like they just focused on one company for the most part. But then you have a Richard Branson. Or um, what's his name? Uh, what's his, uh, Elon Musk. People who branch out and do other things. So it's up to you. It's just your style, right? But this is how I would, you know, make 10k in the next 90 days. This would be the blueprint, right? And this is based off of. It's it's kind of similar to how I made 50k in 30 days. The only difference with the 50k in 30 days was. That was more of like a joint venture kind of thing where this is like a solopreneur thing. And you can joint venture later on. Joint venture means you team up with other people and create amazing offers, combining your specialties and your talents to create an amazing offer. So that's something you can do. That's more so in the future though. In the beginning, you wanna master your craft, right? You wanna master your business model, master your product, your service, get it to a certain level. And then you can start joint venturing and doing all these different things. All right, so that's the 10K blueprint. Now, I just gave it to you so you can go ahead and use it and apply it. Um, but if you're someone who truly uh, is interested in making money on the internet, right? Like you, you like this idea of creating your own product or service and selling it on the internet. Or if you're interested in affiliate marketing, because that's actually something that I did as well. And I had some great success with. I can show you how to do that. But the, the point is, if you're somebody who's interested in making money on the internet, whether it's a side income or you want to make a full-time business, I have a program. It's a mentorship program. So this is not, uh, you know, sometimes I, I'll tell you, okay, this program is based on um, picking up women. This program is based on confidence. This program is that. This is mentorship, right? So literally, you tell me what your goal is, and then we work, focus in on your goal. So if your goal is, for example, you say, okay, look. I like this idea of making 10K in the next 90 days. Can you help me do this trick? I say, yes, that's your goal. I'll give you step-by-step -step guidance. I'll give you accountability. And I'll give you the support that you need to make this goal happen. 
Now, all I'm going to need from you is full commitment, right? You're going to have to commit because as I say, we talk about in this group, you need that confidence. You need to be uh, disciplined. You need to be focused, right? The confidence will be built up through the process, but that focus and discipline needs to be there, right? That commitment. So if you're committed, I could definitely help you, okay? But as I said, I just gave you the steps. You can go and do it on your own. But if you like guidance, you like that accountability, you like support, I do have a mentorship program. If you're interested, just hit me up. I'll give you the details. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.